Hello there, this is Hootie. Um, going to be working with uh, lesson 19, the last section. And I may have little gaps in what I'm saying here because I'm going to try to scroll um, the lesson down, which I got split screen set up here. Uh, first thing that we do is open up the lesson 19 earth.psp and edit copy. I'll minimize this. It says that you can close it, which you can if you want to. And we're going to open up a file new. Open up a new transparency here, 450 by 450, 72. And this is going to be a vector background. Normally when you work in PSP, it would be a raster background. But for this lesson, we use vector background, something new. And let's see, what do we do next? Uh, okay, foreground's black. Uh, I can get that black by left clicking on that color block. And this is black in the upper right hand corner. And this blue on the bottom, left click on that. We get that blue from this square right here. I'm going to shut this off because we don't want that uh, to be included in the shape that we're fixing to draw. Uh, we can go to uh, our preset shapes and uh, actually Q is I'll select our ellipse shape which is what we want Q is in Queen and I have draw ellipse uh, let's see pick the draw ellipse shape we could just use a circle but I think at the time I was thinking I wanted to show you something clever uh, so if you hold down the shift key and left click and drag uh, you still get an exact circle and we want to move that to the center that gives that will give us enough room to put our text on and stuff so uh, objects align center and canvas that's what we want and you see it jumps to the dead center here let me scroll down here and see where we're at. Uh, we want to duplicate this layer twice. It says on step six and seven. And there's two ways to do that. You can do layers duplicate. And that makes us an extra copy here. Or on my layers palette, I have a duplicate layer. And I can left click on that. Which is a quick and slick way to do it. And let's see, let's turn the background color on because we're fixing to add some text to this thing. Uh, step 9 here. Uh, T is the shortcut for the text tool. Got that. And we we'll left click on that. Whoop. Got to wait till that cursor changes. When it changes, you're in the right spot. And puts it in there really pretty. I am working in PSP 9 on this just to, just for your information. So that looks pretty good. Uh, let's open this up here. We want to cut off the ellipse shape. And it still shows the ellipse shape, but that's because it's uh, we made those copies and it's showing through the transparency. If I turn those two off, you see we just got actually the text showing on that top layer. I'll turn it back on here. And now we want to select the text. And we go selections, select from vector object. Now we want to convert this to uh, raster layer. Don't want to get lost on my lesson here beside me and there's two ways to do that you can go uh, layers convert to raster layer or you can right click on this and it's right there convert to raster layer now before uh, when we first started we copied this image and now we're fixing to paste it into this uh, selection here 
So it's Control Shift L, or uh, you can use uh, uh, se selections, paste into selection. Let's see, so long since I used that. <laughs> and you see how the colors are are changed here. That's because we got the graphic colors in there, and that's what causes that little change on that. And let me see here. Uh, edit, paste, paste into selection. That's the other way to do it. Uh, now we're going to add an inner bevel here. Uh, effects, 3D effects, inner bevel. And we already got the settings here. While I'm on this thing here, a uh, slick trick for changing your settings on this is if you uh, put your little pinky on the tab key on the left side of your keyboard, uh, wherever you start at, like we're starting on two on the settings, you can hit the tab key and it will jump down to the next set. And that's a quick way to change your settings. Uh, use a keypad, a numeric keypad on the right hand side. and. Uh, I can just tab through and then type in whatever the setting is for all that stuff. And we got the settings right already. So there we are. And selection, select none. Or control D on your keyboard. And let's see, now we go to the next part. Uh, we're going to put text down here on the bottom. First we need to uh, make this middle layer active here and we'll click on new ellipse that selects that shape you see how it jumped the shape jumped here showing that we got that we have to use our pen tool which is uh, V uh, is the keyboard shortcut to it, V and we can click on the right click on the node and see convert to path this is only on uh, PSP 9. PSP 8 is different, a little different than this. And right click, edit, reverse contour. And that's going to help us get our text right when we put it in there. Let's see, let me scroll down on my lesson here. Okay. Uh, that's about where we want to start our text. And we're going to change this to of creations in capital letters creations I'm going to highlight this uh, there's a setting that we have to change because uh, we want this text to drop down below the line and let me find it here <laughs> Offset. That's what we want is offset. And uh, let's see, I think that's minus 30 will be about right. Let's see what that does. Yep, yeah, that puts it out about right. I think my text is a little bit bigger on that. I'm going to change this to 28 just because I want to. And we'll apply that. We're going to do similar to what we've done before. We're going to cut off the new ellipse shape here on the layers palette. And selections, select from vector object. And right click on this, convert to raster layer. And then we're going to uh, see Control Shift L to paste the graphic into that. Or selections, let's see, or edit, paste, paste into selection, which would be that. It does the same thing. And then we're going to add the inner bevel uh, effects, 3D effects, inner bevel. And then uh, selections. Select none. 
or you could have used control D just the same and that does that part now we're going to add the graphic to uh, the circle here uh, let's see we want to make our bottom layer active here vector one we'll open it up here and uh, let's see use our magic wand make that active and left click and it selects uh, inside the drawn line there. And let's see, we need to turn off the ellipse layer, and that will remove that black line that makes it uh, the ellipse shape. And then uh, we can do edit, paste, paste into selection. Whoop! Uh, first, we got to convert this to a raster layer. Excuse me. edit, paste, paste into selection, and that puts her world there. Cool, huh? And see, so now we can have to look at the lesson, be sure I'm doing it like it says here. Okay, selection, select none, or control, plus D. pretty much got that don't we Let's see we're supposed to add a drop shadow of this so uh, effects edge effects drop shadow and uh, you see how this first sentence already selected uh, I got my right hand on my keyboard on uh, numeric pad on my keyboard on the right hand side so I'm typing in the sentence there hit the tab uh, with my left pinky on the keyboard, jumps it down. One opacity 100 tab blur zero. You don't have to type all the rest of it in, it's black. And shadow on new layers not checked. And it gives us a little definition there. Let's see what else we got. Uh, getting rid of that excess. If we go here and pick the selection tool, this uh, layer opaque, if we left click on that, uh, oh, the reason that only we have to do uh, layers, merge, merge, visible, and now we can do that opaque selection and it selects right around the uh, the outer edges pretty cool huh Let's see image crop to selection and there we have it and that's the first part of that now that wasn't so bad was it I know it's a lot of stuff seems like uh, if I didn't have to read read the steps same as you would you know if you learn how to do it you can zip through it pretty good and it's not so bad but having to go step by step, of course, it uh, takes a little bit longer. kind of seems tedious the first time you do it, but uh, there's nothing to it. It's just learn something new. I'm going to stop the lesson right here because uh, I think everything else is pretty straightforward uh, in the lesson. So you shouldn't need this. Just make it harder for, uh, well... It'll be harder to download and be a bigger download. So you're on your own for the rest of the lesson now. now don't mess up. I'll talk to you later. This is Hootie saying bye.